okay so we are going to discuss today the modeling of the mercury thermometer as well as some example of the state stress so this is the basic model development of the non interacting tank system using the state stress technique how this model is going to represent in the state stress please see <coughs> Since it is a non-interacting system, non-interacting system, then this R1, the value of this R1 becomes, please tell me, Q1 is equals to, Q1 is equals to, Q1 is H1 by R1, very good, and Q2 is equals to, H2 by R2, right, so based on this dynamics, based on this equation, the area is already mentioned area of the tank first is one meter in the in the meter square or the centimeter square okay area two is given r1 r2 is given per, as per the their, their unit so what will the write in the equation first for the tank one please tell me a1 dh1 by dt a1 into dh1 by dt is equal to please e1 q1 minus, minus q1. q1 and what is the value of q1 q1 equals to h1, h1 by, by r1, r1. r1. So we have put in this equation in the second in the second equation, what we will write? The Q1 or yes, Q1 plus U2 minus, minus Q2 is equals to A2 dH2 by D2. So A2 dH2 by D2 is equals to U2 plus Q1. What is the Q1? Q1 equals to H1 by R1. Sure. And this is the this is uh, Q2 minus of Q2. Q2 is equals to H2 by R2. Q2 is equals to H2 by R2. This is the Q2, right? And this one is the Q1. Okay. So A DH so what is the DH1 by DT? Thus divide by the A1, right? So it will become this and DH2 by DT becomes this. Okay. So this is the H1 dot H2 dot. You can write the equation H1 dot H2 dot. As you question the form of matrix H1 S2 and in the input is U1 U2, right? H1 S2 and U2. This is the A matrix, this is the B matrix, right? And what is the output? What is the output? Output you have taken if if uh, y is equals to what? This is H. H of what? H1 and H2, right? Aapko height to control karna hai. Out. Output. So, y is equals to what? So, yahaan par aap kiska le rahe? Simply hum dikha rahe H, H2 ka. We are ultimately going to control H2, right? So, y is equals to kya ho jaga? Y1, what is the product? What is the product is H2, right? So, so, 0, 1. We can represent 0, 1, 0 into H1 or 1 into H2. It becomes s2 right so this is the case for the model in the in the, in the form of the uh, state space right now come to the next that is the model development of the mercury thermometer it is a very very important model okay so before going to the development of the model we have assumed some you know uh, some parameters okay some physical parameters we have to assume so what is that physical parameters and how the we are going to model of the system please see so let us consider we have a thermometer to be located in the flowing stream where we are we want to measure the temperature of that fluid okay so the flowing stream of the fluid for which the temperature acts vary with the time okay so temperature x the latest side this is the fluid this is the fluid side okay and the temperature of this fluid is x and it is will be the going varying okay so our problem is to calculate the response of the time variation of the thermometer reading y how the y will be y will read in this in this bulb actually there is a some thermometer uh, sorry mercury and this mercury is going to be rise yes or no so the symbol x and y have been selected to represent the surrounding temperature x represent the surrounding temperature and y represent the thermometer reading y represent the thermometer reading right respectively so this is the x the for the fluid y for the mercury right y for the mercury so now we will do this let's say this is the glass this is the glass resistance and this is the film resistance film resistance means this is glass and this is film hai, hai? Ye glass hai, aapka, iska film hai. So, when the temperature will increase when the temperature when the temperature will increase hoga kya ki in the 
practically practical you can say or in the real time some amount of the theme film or the grass also will expand yes or no as the temperature increases टेम्परेचर सपोज दैट कि आपने कहीं भी रखा और इसके अंदर आपने थर्मोमीटर डाला तो ड्यू टू दिस टेम्परेचर ड्यू टू द इन्वायरमेंटल टेम्परेचर वाट एवर द रजिस्टेंस द रजिस्टेंस विल ऑल्सो चेंज इन द रियल टाइम द फिल्म रजिस्टेंस एंड द ग्लास रजिस्टेंस विल चेंज या सो नो इट विल एक्सपेंड इट्स विल एक्सपेंड बिकॉज इट इज द ग्लास इट इज द फिल्म दैट देर फॉर दिस विल बी एक्सपेंड बट द चांसेस ऑफ दिस एक्सपेंसर इज वेरी वेरी लो but it may be but it may be okay so in the real time in in the in the in the, in the you know in the in when we are when we are going to model the system you have to assume that you have to assume that there is no variation in the in the film resistance in the glass glass resistance this is a constant isme koi change nahi ho raha change kis mein ho raha hai only in the only in this inside the temperature that is due to the mercury that is due to the mercury only right and therefore the system becomes the problem becomes the loved parametric model yes or no loved parametric model if this model will depend on these resistance then it will become under the category of the distributed yes or no it will depend and on the mercury film resistance r1 r2 at the resistance and the temperature rise in the y okay is it clear yes actual yes, temperature profile is like this one the temperature is going like this and then this and then this however in the in the in the in the, in the, in the ideal case we are assuming that the temperature is just like this and an increasing okay right so now come to the next the assumption r all the resistance to the heat transfer reside in the film surrounding the bulb only that is the resistance suffered by the glass and mercury is neglected right all the thermal capacity is in mercury only the furthermore at any instant the mercury assumes a uniform temperature throughout means in this in this volume the there is a uniform temperature distribution along every point right so making these first two assumption is often referred to as a lumping of the parameters right we are going to lumped lumping this parameter and model so it to be the lumped parametric model because all the resistance is lumped into one location location due to the only the mercury and all the capacitance is another right these assumptions make it possible to represent the dynamic of the system by an od or ordinary differential equation okay you know that lump parametric model generally come to the ode if this model is, is in the in the form of the uh, um, uh you can say the distributed parametric model then the model will become in the please tell me pd pd partial difference partial difference right so this is the case of the ode because we are assuming that we are made, we are we are making the all the parameters lumped lump okay if such assumption were not made the analysis would be lead to the pd and the representation would be referred to by distributed parameter system is it clear i think it, i hope it it will be clear right now come to the next that last assumption the third assumption the glass wall containing mercury does not expand or contract during the transient response right in actual thermometer it will happen the expansion of the wall has additional effect on the response of thermometer reading राइट सो हम इसको क्या करें इन द रियल टाइम इन द इन द आइडियल टाइम इन द आइडियल कंडीशन वी आर नॉट एजूमिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके द ग्लास इनिशियली एक्सपेंड एंड द कैविटी कंटेनिंग मर्करी ग्रोज रिजल्टिंग इन मर्करी रीडिंग तो क्या होगा कि दो टेम्परेचर राइज होंगे एक जो ड्यू टू द हीट ट्रांसफर हीट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन सराउंडिंग टू अंडर सराउंडिंग ड्यू टू द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द ग्लास एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एडेड विद द रियल टाइम ऑफ द टेम्परेचर ओके तो वी हैव टू एवॉयड दैट राइट so once the mercury warms and expands the reading increases this is an example of inverse response right so ye hai problem okay so modeling now we are going to do it is assumed that first initially the thermometer was at the steady state thermometer pehle steady state pe hai okay or before time zero there is a no change in the temperature we assume that 
uh, at, suppose at 97 degrees Celsius the thermometer ko pehle se hi rakha hua hai time t equal to 0 pe okay or now we put we place the that thermometer where we want to the measuring the temperature of that surrounding at time equal to 0 the thermometer will be subjected to some change in the surrounding temperature xt right so what will be the equation simple this is the heat this is a, ye mamla kiska hai mamla hai heat ka heat transfer ka heat transfer matlab energy change ka energy change ka matlab hum log energy transfer equation likhenge in rate minus out rate equal to rate calculation simple yes or no okay <coughs> so simple what is the in rate in rate means you can see here you can see here in rate means surrounding and temperature in ho raha hai kis mein kis mein thermometer mein so we will write h a x h a x h is the film coefficient right heat transfer coefficient heat transfer coefficient area or x x is the x is in the you know degree celsius or fahrenheit right so isko hum multiply karenge again it will be the degree celsius sorry uh, the energy per unit time okay same what is the out rate out rate is the h a y okay and uh, okay uh, this must say output sorry input rate is the h a h a x and h a y is the increasing in the you know the merc due to the mercury temperature rising so the there is a difference h a x minus y okay and output is my high output rate is nothing hum log ye maan rahe hain ki jo temperature jo aa raha hai iske andar kiske ball ke andar bulb ke andar that is residing here okay no isko keh sakte hum log kya adiabatic type of the nature yes or no ki temperature yahan se kahin ja nahi raha baat okay to this is zero to h a x minus y okay equal to what, what is the rate of accumulation equal to right mc divided by t what is m m is the mass of mercury c is the you know heat capacity of mercury and divided by dt it is again in the energy per unit time right so we have to remember this equation or we have to practice this how to write the equation right then so ultimately your equation becomes h a x minus y is equals to m c divided by dt so this is equation number one now at the steady state ये तो आपके t equal to zero पे हुआ t equal to zero पे आपने रखा और धीरे धीरे ये t greater than zero पे start हुआ rise करना after some time after some time it will reach to in steady state एक time के बाद 102 degree temperature 103 degree temperature पे रुक जाएगा या सुनो that is the steady state at the steady state condition we will write h a x s minus y s equal to d by d t m c d by d t o y s and it becomes constant and therefore it is zero now this is let's say equation number two okay minus karlo one minus two one minus two then h a x minus x s y minus y s equals to m c d by d t of y minus y s right now define the deviation variable x minus x s equals to capital x y minus y s is capital y okay so it will becomes h a x minus y is equal to m c d y by d t right is it clear so now mc divided by ha defined a new term that is the tau x minus y is equals to tau divided by dt okay then you can take the laplace x of s minus y of s is equals to tau s y s initial condition zero so y s upon x s you can find out and that is one upon tau s plus one where tau s is the where tau is the nothing but the mc upon h a mc upon h and this is the model of the mercury when you are assuming that this is the lumped parametric model lumped parametric so whenever the examiner you asked the modeling of the thermometer if they have if they doesn't men mention anything how to develop the model then you assume that you have to mod you have to uh, develop the lumped parametric model of that thermometer right if we mention the deviation the variation in the uh, film resistance then you have to assume that the model should be in the you know a distributed parametric model and you have to analyze the microscopic study of that thermometer model right 
so in your syllabus you have only the lumped parametric model if you want to study the distributed parametric model then you can refer the book kafner and the kafner this this example is given for the distributed parametric model development of distributed parametric model right of the parameter so now now we are going to summarize how to develop the model this is the procedure for determining the transfer function for any of the process you have developed the single tank we have developed the double tank non interacting interacting you have seen the distributed parametric model you have seen the blending system you have seen the heat transfer uh, in the heating tank system right you have all and you have developed the transfer function for all this system right so what what you have learned how the model is going to develop so first you have to write the you know appropriate balance equation balance equation means mass component or energy balance for that chemical process is it clear yes or no pehle sabse pehla step kya hai sabse pehle step aapko kya karna hai aapko mass energy aur component balance equation likhna hai as per the chemical process given am i right थर्ड फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डिफाइन इक्वेशन एट दीडी स्टेट यू हैव टू डिफाइन द इक्वेशन एट दीडी स्टेट देन यू हैव टू माइनस From the previous equation, the balance equation one minus two, and then we have to define the new deviation variable that we will form. Okay, we have to place the place the balance equation the deviation variable form. Then take the Laplace transform of that linear balance equation of the deviation variable form equation, and then you can define the transfer function of that system. Output divided by input. Any doubt? Any doubt in order to develop any model, or we can sir, move. Sir, why? What was the question? Why is the temperature of the thermometer thermometer rise? Ah, uh, mercury. The mercury in the room, how much temperature will increase? The height of the mercury will increase. Yes or no? Then you will get a temperature. Actually, this is the pressure difference, right? Yes, sir. 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 Yes. Now this is time to discuss the most important model. Now we have discussed.